All right, when you're using Google Sheets, sometimes you want to create a random number or lots of random numbers. We're going to go over how to do that in this spreadsheet. And there's a couple of different functions that you can use. They're all pretty easy, but they all do it a little bit differently. So let's dive in right now. The first function, the most straightforward one is just called R-A-N-D, short for random, okay? And it doesn't take any arguments. So all you do is type R-A-N-D, you close it off and you hit enter and it gives you a random decimal in between zero and one. All right, so it's inclusive of zero. It could be a zero and it goes all the way up to one, but not quite, so you can't get a one out of it. So if you just want a random decimal and that's all, then you're done with just the rand function. But that's not always what you want in a spreadsheet, right? So the next example we're going to go over is just a way to modify that function with a few operators afterward to make it uh, return still a decimal, not an integer, but just between two different numbers other than zero and one. So how we do that is we're going to start off with the RAND function again. And then we're going to multiply it by, and then we're going to do our upper bound and our lower bound. So we'll say 13 and seven. What you wanna do is take that larger one minus the smaller one, and then add that smaller one back on and then that's going to produce a random number between those two digits. So let's um, make it change. So this is another subject that's important to understand when you're making random numbers is any change that you make to the spreadsheet or when you just close it and reopen it, all the random numbers get regenerated. So if you want them to stay the same, I'll show you what to do, but first I'm just going to show you how I change it. I'm just going to type a one in the cell B8. I'm going to hit enter and watch that 8.9 becomes a 10.8 and the one above it changed too. You may want that behavior or you may not care if it changes. Let's just do this again. 10.8 goes to 9.5. But if you do care if that number's changing, what you can do is after you generate your random number, you will come, oops, you will come into the cell, copy it, and then do paste special and paste it as a value. So if I do that, paste as values only. If I change this number again, I can even make it the same number. I can just make it a two and hit enter. That doesn't change. If I change this number again, it changes the random number that we generated in A4, but A8 doesn't change because you pasted it as a value. All right, so we've covered how to generate a random decimal and how to do a larger random decimal. The next function is called RAM between, and this generates random integers, so whole numbers instead of decimals. So let's just do, you could do a negative if you want. So we'll say between negative four and 100, and it does 51. But if you want to do a whole column at once, this next function is really handy for that. So let's scroll down a little bit to give us some room. And what we can do is one called RAND array. And the two inputs that it needs is just the number of rows and the number of columns. So let's just say we want uh, five rows to be generated and, and two columns. We'll give it a five and a two, and then it outputs that automatically. And in this next video, we're going to explore how to generate columns of random numbers. And we can even do it so that it counts the number of empty cells that there are. So let's say you have a table of data, you shift it over a little bit and you want to put some random numbers in a column. We'll talk about how to do that automatically counting the number that you need. I'll see you in that next video. Thanks for watching. It's good to have you around.